Welcome to our lecture online. What we're going to do in this video is take a look and see how many intersections there are between the lines when we have two lines, three lines, four lines, and from that we should be able to figure out how many intersections we have when we have n lines, any number of lines. And again, the condition is that the lines cannot be parallel to one another because then they never intersect. Parallel lines never intersect, so none of the lines can be parallel to any of the other lines in the group. So when we have two lines, you can see there's clearly just one intersection. And we can say that we have line one intersection intersecting with line two. And so there's just one intersection there. Now when we have three lines, you can see we have three intersections. We have one here, we have one here, we have one there. And that means that we have line 1 intersecting with line 2, we have line 1 intersecting with line 3, and we have line 2 intersecting with line 3, which means three intersections. So hopefully you're beginning to see a pattern there. Now we have four lines. How many intersections? Well, we have one here, there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. It looks like now with four lines we have six intersections. But the way we can see why that is so, we can say that we have an intersection between line, and one, uh, line 1 and line 2, line 1 and line 3, line 1 and line 4, then 2 and 3, and 2 and 4, and then 3 and 4. So you see just on the left side you keep increasing it after you've seen the intersection with every other line but of course you can do two and one because that's already accounted for over here so you can see there's clearly six intersections so notice that with two lines you have one intersection with three lines you have three so you add two to that with four lines you have six so from three to six that means you add three to that Hmm, how about with four lines? Let's try that one, and with five lines. Let's try that one first. If we have five lines, so with five lines, let's see, we have one and two, one and three, one and four, one and five. Now we go to two and three, two and four, two and five. Now we go to three and four, three and five, and finally, four and five. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's ten intersection. Notice we go plus four. So each time we go, we go to one more line, we increase the previous number of intersections with by one more. So here we have one plus two gives us three, three plus three gives us six, six plus four gives us ten, so it would be 10 plus 5 gives us 15. So then it would go 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 plus 6 is 21. 21 plus 7 is 28. 28 plus 8 is 36. 36 plus 9 is 45. And 45 plus 10 is 55. So notice that each time you increase it by one more when you add an additional line. So with six lines, so with six lines, it'd be 15. With seven lines, it would be 21. With eight lines, it would be 28. With nine lines, it would be 36. With 10 lines, it would be 45. And with 11 lines, it would be 55. So can we come up with an equation that shows us with n lines. Actually, I didn't work that out yet, so I have to need some time to work that out. I threw that in there and I forgot that I hadn't done that yet. So give me a minute here to figure it out. So now what we're trying to do is figure out how to... F no. So now we need to figure out how many intersections there are when we have n lines. So we need to see a pattern with these numbers. And I believe I see a pattern. So let's take a look. When we have two lines, there's only one intersection. So this number matches this number right here. When there's three lines, we have three intersections. So we have two and one here. So when we add two plus one, we get three. Here we have six intersections. So we have three of this combination, two of this combination, 
and one of this combination. And here we have 10 intersections, which adds up to four of this combination, three of this combination, two of this combination, and one of this combination. So notice we can get the number of intersections when we add all these up. So this is one, this is one plus two, this is one plus two plus three, this is one plus two plus three plus four, and it always ends one less than the number of lines that we have. So with other words, with two lines, we add one plus nothing else because we're already one less than two lines. Here it's one plus two, which is one less than three lines, one plus two plus three, which is one less than four lines, one plus two plus three plus four, which is one less than five lines. So essentially, the number of intersections, the number of intersections when we have n lines is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus and so forth all the way to n minus 1. And it doesn't matter what n is, that will always give you the correct number of intersections. So let's try it with, let's say, 10 intersections right here. Let's try this as an example and see if that works out. So that means we're going to get the number of intersections. That means that it's going to be equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9. And since 9 is n minus 1 because there's 10 lines, 10 minus 1 is 9. If we add all that up, we get 3, 6, 10, 15, 21, 28, 36, 45. And that was indeed the answer when we have... 10 lines. So this here is the general case for n lines. You'll have this many intersections. And that's how it's done.